hello from this practical uh, we can find out how uh, the lissajous pattern is used full to find out the relation between two frequency or we can say that how lissajous pattern used to find out a non frequency from the non frequency so let us start the practical now here i am taking a non frequency that is on x channel of a cro this x channel of a cro and this non frequency that is on y channel of a of a cro so the relation between the frequency on a cro can be explained by this if fx and fy are the frequency now we can find out the relation of this frequency by the pattern of on a cro so this is y and x now we have to identify number of points on a y axis of a pattern and number of point on a x axis of a pattern if fx is 800 and say fy is 800 then the pattern is like like this there is one point on x axis and one point on y axis so by this relation it is equal if x, x fx is 800 and fy is 400 then the pattern is like this here the relation is 2 by 1 so fx is equal to 2 into fy now when fx is 800 and fy is 1600 at that time this pattern will touch on x axis two time and y one time so by this relation it is fx is equal to 1 by 2 so let us see the practical now when this frequency is 400 means frequency on y channel is 400 to see the channel this is on y y channel when it is the channel the frequency on y channel is 400 at the time we can see the pattern is, is like this in this pattern we can see that there are two points on a y axis now when the frequency now when it is 800 hertz means both known and unknown frequencies are same at that time we can see this shape circle type shape and it is having one point on a x axis and one point on a y axis now when i double this frequency when it is around 1600 at that time we can see the pattern in this pattern we can see that there is two point on x axis and one point on y axis so by understanding this lissajous pattern we can identify the relation between two frequency and we can find out a non frequency by the use of non frequency thank you